Richard Southern joins us from the 680 News Business Center. Now, Richard, Thanksgiving is over, and that means the holiday spending season is about to begin. Oh, does it really? Uh oh. Not for me, at least. Not I for know. another two months. Yeah, not for me. It's not until the 24th of December. Exactly. That's a whole, a whole nother story. Uh, anyways, you know, retailers are eager to get into that season because, of course, that's when many of them make their money in the, uh, throughout the year, Christina. And PwC released a big survey today that found the average Canadian will spend just over $1,500 on Christmas this year, all told up 1.9% from last year. And look at some of these very interesting stats here as far as how we're going to spend it. One in four millennials are interested in shopping with their gaming consoles. 21% of shoppers uh, plan to use social media to make purchases. Uh, consumers have three mobile apps on average to shop. 75% of repeat purchases made online. Still, Christina, 83% plan to buy something in an actual store this season. The number one reason is to get merchandise immediately. So how about that? We want to do our Christmas shopping on our Xbox and on our Instagram. Go figure, Christina. Well, I wouldn't be able to do that because I'm a last-minute shopper, so I really do need those bricks-and-mortar stores. Yeah, you and I are out there at the gas station <laughs> on the 24th. Desperate. Yep, I'll see you there. <laughs> Air Canada is going gender-neutral. Richard, the airline is changing one of its standard in-flight announcements. Tell me more about that. So when they greet you on the loudspeaker, they have for, for forever, Air Canada said, ladies and gentlemen. But instead of that gender-specific phrase now, Christina, flight attendants will address passengers as, quote, everybody. The change comes just a few months after authorities in Ottawa started to allow non-binary citizens to mark their gender on a Canadian passport as X rather than male or female. In a memo obtained by the paper La Presse, Air Canada writes, quote, we want to ensure an inclusive space for everybody, including those who identify with gender X. Many airlines in recent months taking steps uh, to recognize gender neutrality. Christina, so something a little bit different you're going to hear on Air Canada going forward. Yeah, but probably a little bit overdue. Now, the hashtag delete Facebook is trending again, Richard. Tell me about this. Mm-hmm. Uh, trending worldwide last night after it was revealed, Christina, that Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg had held informal meetings and off-the-record dinner uh, dinners with conservative journalists, commentators, and at least one Republican lawmaker. And in a post on Facebook, Zuckerberg admitted that he, quote, had dinners with lots of people across the political spectrum. He said it was uh, part of learning and, quote, if you haven't tried it, you should, he suggested. Now, the news website Politico said the meetings were part of a broader effort by Facebook to cultivate friends on the right side of the political spectrum. U.S. President Trump earlier this year accused Facebook of censorship after the platform uh, banned several right-wing commentators, including conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. I mean, you have people on the uh, on the left, uh, uh, Ms. Warren, who's running for the Democratic nomination, Christina, who wants to break up Facebook. So I guess Mr. Zuckerberg trying to make some friends on the right side of the spectrum as well. So playing for both teams. Exactly. <laughs> hedging, hedging is bets, as Hedging is bets. That's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> now, before we go, Richard, you've got a quick look at gas prices and some of the other stories you'll be bringing us later on the show. Uh, no change for the price of gas coming up at midnight, Christina. And yes, coming up just after 6.30, we're looking at an innovative new mission to the moon, plus a little bit of controversy here as one person speaks from beyond the grave. We'll explain just after 6.30. Sounds very interesting. Thanks a lot, Richard. We'll Thank talk you. to you again in the next hour. Cheers.